live with Hannah Keith. Good morning and welcome to PTWP, Prime Time with Prin. Let's give a round of applause for my very good friend, Hester Prin. Welcome, Hi. welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I'm honored to be here. How did you feel when Dimsdale was questioning you about who the father is? I felt very conflicted because I wanted to tell everyone who it was because, well, just for the sake of Pearl and so that she would know who her father was. And, but then again, I didn't want to tell everyone because I love Dimsdale and that would just ruin his reputation. I did not want to do that to him. I care too much about him. While you were on the scaffold, we saw that you looked at someone in the crowd. May I ask who that was? Yes, that was my husband, or as he's known now, Audrey Chillingworth. He was my husband in England, and he sent me over here to Massachusetts first. Um, and then he was going to follow me, but he ran into some trouble with um, some Native Americans. What role does gossip play in your life? Gossip plays a really big role in my life because ever since I got the Scarlet Letter, a lot of people have been gossiping about me and spreading rumors and I've just learned to deal with it and I, it doesn't really bother me anymore. Hmm. Why did you agree to Chillingworth's oath? I did that because I felt like I owed him because of the horrible thing that I did to him. So I felt really bad and I felt like I just should do it for the sake of him because he asked me to. And what were your thoughts when you were going to meet Dimsdale in the forest? I was really nervous and scared because I was not sure how he was going to take the information um, uh, regarding Roger Chillingworth's true identity as my husband. I was afraid that he was not going to love me anymore or that he was going to be really angry. Um, but then again, I was also really happy to see him and talk to him after seven years. So. And what were you thinking when Pearl acted the way she did after Dimsdale kissed her on the forehead? It really hurt me to see that um, because I want her and Dimsdale to get along. So it was not pleasant for me. And what was running through your mind when Dimsdale took your hand and led you onto the scaffold? It was very unexpected. I was very surprised. I did not know what was going to happen. I didn't know what to expect. I was nervous about what was going to happen. So yeah, it was pretty scary. I was pretty frightened. What was your plan after Dimsdale confessed and died? It's okay, take your time. Um, I think everyone saw it coming because of his declining health. And I didn't know what to do at first. I just was not sure, and it's still hard. So. Thank you for being here with us today. I hope you had an amazing time. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be here. Oh, you are hysterical. <laughs> Next time on PTWP, we will have Pearl joining us to talk about her fantastic wedding. You guys have me call. <laughs> <laughs> that should be our intro. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go. <laughs> Where you go? <laughs>
are you going? <laughs> I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> are you filming? Yeah. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? Oh, snap, the camera's on me. Hi! Hi! Hi!